Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the Normally Spent Road to Glory. And what have 2k done today? Out of nowhere, well not really out of nowhere because they tweeted about it earlier today, but still, Galaxy Opal Zion Williamson as a reward for a set of cards that haven't even played in the NBA. It is all of the next rookie class, and of course the headline act out of those players is the Galaxy Opal Lamello Ball, as you can see right there, point guard, shooting guard. And let me tell you guys, there are some insane cards in this set. Obviously Zion is the biggest name out of all of them, but arguably one of the least exciting cards for me anyway. Uh, we're definitely not going to be locking it in, that's for sure. But yeah, a couple of really nice cards, a couple of really nice cards that are going to be pretty cheap, I should hope so anyway. Um, and in general, the rest of the market has just crashed so damn hard. So, we're going to be talking today about all of these new cards. We're going to be talking about maybe selling our GOAT cards. Don't kill me, guys, because I know you want me to complete that GOAT collection. But seeing these cards out, I just want to use them. And we've already got just under 400k, and that has gone down a bit, and I'll show you guys where uh, later on in this video. I just want to be able to use these new cards, and I'm not going to be able to do that. If we sell Magic, we could buy Lamelo. If we sell MJ, we can buy Lamelo and everyone in the set. Uh, but obviously, like I said, I wouldn't lock in for Zion. But uh, yeah, it is a madness, guys. Community poll, which next player are you adding to your lineup? Obviously, Lamelo would be great. But realistically, realistically, I think it's going to be James Wiseman. I think that's who we're going to go for first. Uh, well, depending on the um, prices of cards. Three tokens, I'll take that. And 71% uh, of people dream of having the MT to be able to afford Lamello because let me tell you boys he is goddamn expensive uh the agenda today absolutely nothing the limited time event is good if you haven't done domination yet then I wouldn't even recommend doing domination now uh but if you do want to do it then you get two free tokens for every win which is actually a little bit of a W so of course before we jump into it a massive shout out to the MVPs and the goats of the channel for the MVPs we have got Heisenberg who has now been a member of the channel for two months because he's got the diamond badge in the comments and in the chat, which looks so damn cool. We have then got Panda, Amru, Todd, Harry, Dr. K. We have got John as well. And then we've got Will, Harco, Patrick, Cole, Joaquin, Safe, and Bog. And then the goats, we have got Eric, Jason, Ice Cream, Cody, Z, Spooky, Chris, Caleb. And then we've got two new members, Omar from yesterday, and then Rohan, who joined today. What a guy. If you guys want to get involved as well, help support the channel, there's a join button down below which will show you how it's done. If not, top line in the description, click on that, and it'll also tell you about how it is done. And one last thing before we jump in today, if anybody wants to get some merch, this is my merch, crossover clothing, right here. Uh, if any of you guys want to get that, then uh, again, that link will be in the description down below. A couple of people didn't know that it was mine, but yeah, this is my own merch, and a lot of people have actually bought it lately. Uh, they've been sending me screenshots of their orders, which is awesome. So if you do order any, make sure you go ahead and send me a screenshot because it is so damn cool to see that, man. So damn cool. All right, let's jump into it, guys. Let's jump into it. So last night we got two new Opals in the vault, Hersey Hawkins and Artis Gilmore. Artis Gilmore with not really much of an outside game and Hersey Hawkins as a six foot five, six foot five guard. Eh, it's okay, but it ain't going to get me playing. Uh, it ain't going to get me playing TTO, that's for sure. Nothing else here really exciting. Uh, TTO... Did actually do me dirty. You can see there, there's one of the new cards today. Lamello Ball, Diamond card. Did me dirty. We won a game which was a four ball drop game. It glitched out, gave me an error code. I went over to the extras tab. It was here, so I was like, okay, that's fine. Clicked on it. It only gave me one ball drop. What's that about, 2K? Why have you done this? Um, and that was a ball drop where we actually got a Leap Year Deluxe pack. So we could have had two of them, but sadly, we only got one Leap Year pack. But hey, if, if you want to throw me... A little Galaxy Opal Tracy McGrady, 2k. That'd be absolutely fine. All will be forgiven if you go ahead and do that. Whether or not they actually will, chances are very, very slim. But let's not forget, guys, the only Opal we have pulled all year, which when you think about it is kind of insane considering we play this game every single day. We have opened every single Locker Co pack, every single TTO pack, every single pack from the Weekly Wheel Spin, Triple Threat Offline, any rewards. We've opened every single pack and we have got nothing to show for it apart from one Opal a lot earlier on in the year. But it was from this pack, so Tracy McGrady, I'm not asking for much, bro. I'm not asking for much. Okay, feels bad, man. It's just a Ruby card. Okay, not the best in the world, but hey, can't complain, I guess. I guess. Um, and then let's move on to the actual pack market because 2KY. Um, I did actually open quite a few of these on, uh, on stream just to see if we got lucky. 17 and a half thousand MT. 
goddamn that's expensive and ten and a half K for this. So we did two deluxe no, we did three deluxe and two of these ones. So we did uh, five packs in total. One for the culture. Because then we've done three of each. One for the culture. Come on, Lamello. Oh, it just sucks, doesn't it? You can't even get excited at a diamond, not gonna lie. So it is gonna be one of the new players because it has no logo. That was a voice crack. Uh, it's got no logo, which looks really weird. Uh, it's a shooting guard. I know who that is. Will Edwards guy. Uh, Anthony Edwards guy. It is. Yay? <laughs> it's not a yay, guys. Trust me. That card is some hot trash. So yeah, there we go. Six packs of each and not over a diamond card. All three of the deluxe ones we opened, we got diamonds out of all of them. Don't open packs, guys. Whatever you... I mean, it's so expensive. Ten packs for 135,000 VC. How much would it cost me to... To load up this account with 135, so you have to buy the 200,000 because there ain't no option for 135. You could do two of these, so it's still gonna cost you like 32 quid, like bro, 32 pounds for 10 packs. Oh, don't do it, guys. Oh, don't do it. You can see there we got a duplicate James Wiseman. We also pulled the Lamelo Ball, as you saw, and then we've just pulled the Anthony Edwards card as well. Now, before we get into the actual set, I completely forgot that we've got these two diamond cards that we need to add in for their locker codes. Now, these guys actually duo together. So these came with the new dynamic duo update. These actually go together as opals. So they go up from diamonds to opals, which is pretty cool. I don't think they're going to be usable, even if we get both of them. Uh, and I don't know what else is on these boards, but realistically, if there's tokens or if there's MT, then that's what we're going to want to get. Tokens or MT are a lot more important than diamond cards at this point of the year anyway. So let's see, I believe both of these boards are exactly the same. Uh, so we have got Derek Fisher three slots and Robert Holly three slots as well, and then 15 tokens. We might as well try and get them because I guess we could do a dynamic duo opal video, which would be kind of cool. Uh, but it's going to be complete luck whether or not we get both of them. Or even if we get one of them, because we could just get the tokens. We're going to get Derek Fisher to begin with. Okay, so we've got Derek Fisher from Derek Fisher's code. That makes sense. Um, and let's see if we can go ahead and pull Robert Horry as well. 2k really haven't done many locker codes lately, but these two they dropped on the same night. But other than that, they have been uh, they've been slacking a little bit, not going light. They have been slacking, but then they dropped this content today just out of nowhere. And I don't think we're going to get any new content tomorrow, guys. Actually, I forgot to mention that. These packs are in the store until next Friday? Next Friday? Like, god damn, that's ages away. So I don't think we're going to get anything new tomorrow. If we do, it might be something like a token market update. That'd be pretty cool, but I don't think so. Um, so yeah, I don't think we're going to get any new packs tomorrow. Wouldn't count on that. And then I think next Friday will be the last prime player. I think next Friday, when these packs go, that'll be the next prime player. Right, Robert Horry, we will go ahead and drop it on the... Ooh. He's got two slots over here on the left. Well, okay, we'll go on the left. We'll go far left. We just went far left to get Derek Fisher, so maybe that was a dumb move, but... I feel like there's two chances down here. And it does look like it's, it's going to be a one in three chance, guys. Are we going to get the dynamic duo pairing? We are. I ain't mad at that. Thank you, 2K. Two free dynamic, two free galaxy opals. Yeah, thank you. Can't complain at all. All right, not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, so now that's out of the way. On their own, I think they are, I think they're really, really bad. Um, but together, opals, not bad. We'll do that in a video at some point down the line, but... Let's focus today on this set right here and on that that big fella right there, Zion Williamson. Um, just to show you guys, before we even jump into it. Two point nine 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 million MT for Lamelo to bruh. Ah, what are you doing? That is absurd. That is genuinely absurd. Okay, so what 2K have done in this set, which they haven't done on any other set this year, they've actually given all of the opals, so there's uh, five opals, no, there's six opals, they've given all of those six opals um, just like a lower, lesser version. So uh, obviously got the Lamello Balls Diamond compared to the opal, and it goes the same for all of these guys, but Cole Anthony, uh, Onyeka, and RJ are all pink diamonds. I'm sorry if I pronounce his name wrong, I think someone did tell me how to pronounce it, but I've forgotten already because I'm really bad at everything in life. Um, but let's go ahead and let's take a look, because these guys... Ain't good. Not even his budget cards are not even that good. Uh, James, Wise James Wiseman. I should be able to pronounce that one. Seven foot one. Uh, and he comes in with a quick draw. And he does have the Chris Bosch release. 
the Chris Bosch release, Chris Bosch release on uh, James Wiseman, which is really nice. But he is missing a couple of badges. I think I'm right in saying that none of these pink diamonds and diamonds have range extender. So straight away, all of them pretty much unusable because they don't have that one badge. And a couple of them don't even have clamps. Uh, but yeah, this James Wiseman's 80 driving layup, 85 driving dunk, 74 3, 85 mid, no ball control, not even good defense, good speed, dreadful lateral quickness. A really bad card. So James Wiseman, stay far clear. Lamello Ball, 6 for 8. Now, as fun as you guys think this card may be, he does not have range extender, which is, you can still use a card without range extender, but he doesn't have clamps. They did Lamello dirty. Why do they not even have clamps? Like, that is horrendous. So you really can't use this card. And that's not me over-exaggerating. You just can't use this card. He's got 87 driving layup, 70 driving dunk, 81 mid, 7. I mean, these are such bad stats, man. These are these are like day one stats. Um, really good passing, which is something. Not the best defense, uh, not the best rebounding. And then 79 lateral quickness. These cards are so bad. Uh, Anthony Edwards, I haven't actually looked at this card just yet, but 99 offensive and 94 defensive, that looks quite nice. Again, I wouldn't expect to see range extender down here, but if he's got clamps, then at least it will be better than uh, Lon Lamello Ball down there. He does have clamps, which is good, um, and he's got a couple of other badges as well. Stats-wise, 89 drive layup. Again, though, like 82 shooting is just bad. For this point of the game, it is just bad. Bad. Like, there's so many better options out there. So these these diamonds are not even worth looking at. Sure, the card art is pretty cool. Uh, sure, it's cool to play with these uh, guys that are going to be the next draft class and the, so aren't even in the NBA right now. Trust me, it just ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. Next up, Cole Anthony coming in with 31 Hall of Fame badges, six foot three. Again, oh no, he does have range. I am wrong. I am mistaken. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry if anyone was furiously typing a comment saying I was wrong. I'm wrong. Hold my hands up. Cole Anthony has Hall of Fame range extender. Okay, I see you, Cole. I see you. Do you have clamps? Or have they done you dirty? Okay, so this card actually looks half decent. 31 Hall of Fames and 29 golds. He is six foot three, so he's basically just like a, a Gilbert Arenas or a Derek Rose, like very, very similar type of player. Um, you can see there, <laughs> Derek Rose destroys him in every single category. And every passing. Defensively, sure. Carl Anthony's nice. Rebounding, sure. But, oh, man. Badges-wise, he's nice. But for the same height, just do Derek Rose, man. Disappointing. Disappointing, 2K. Next up, we've got Onika Okongu. Okongwu. Sorry. Bad pronunciation. I know. Six foot nine, power forward center. So, straight away, only power forward. You're not playing this boy at center. That's just not going to work. Um, and he comes in with 28 Hall of Fames. And 24 golds. Let's see what he does. He does have the Hall of Fame badges defensively, which is nice. Apart from Intimidator, that's only on gold. Um, he does not have range extender. He's only got a 79-3 and an 80 mid. No ball control. Good defense. It's just, it's just again, it's just not a good card, is it? Who can we compare it to? I mean, Chris Webber is so damn cheap right now. And just look at it. It's a landslide victory for Chris Webber right there. Like, even if we go down to Danny Manning... Like, just, just get Danny Manning. Just buy Danny Manning. So, again, that's another one that is a bit of a shame and not really worth it. And we've got RJ Hampton coming in as a six foot six point guard, which we will get onto in a bit when we look at these guys' Opals cards. Um, but 27 Hall of Fames and 22 gold. He does have clamps at the Hall of Fame level, which is good. Uh, rebound chase, Intimidator, which is nice. Dimer, good. Again, no range extender. So, I was right apart from one card. So, Cole Anthony has it at Hall of Fame, but none of the others have it. 83 three-pointer, 87 mid at this point in the game. It's just, look how far. Isaiah Thomas is the first card that has a lower three. Lamello Ball is the first one that has a lower mid. Without counting Lamello Ball, the first player with a lower mid-range than RJ Hampton in my club is this Magic, who came out so, so long ago. So, yeah, not looking good for RJ. Passing's okay. Defensively, he's okay. Rebounding, not really there. And then, uh... Good speed, but lateral quickness 89, it's, it's not the best. But offensively, that ain't it, Chief. That ain't it. That ain't it. All right, that brings us on to the exciting part of it, guys. That brings us on to the Galaxy Opal. So, so far, you are paying literally next to nothing for all of these cards. You'll be able to get these di uh, diamonds for discard value. And the pink diamonds will probably be like 5k a piece, if that, because they are that bad. 
But that uh, brings us on to the Galaxy Opals. And first up, we have got Galaxy Opal James Wiseman. And like I said, this boy has the Chris Bosch... Why can't I not speak today? Chris Bosch release. Uh, and he is seven foot one. So uh, the backup centre role in my club right now, I have, of course, got Joel Embiid. There we go. So we will compare him to Embiid. James Wiseman has 55 Hall of Fame badges. 55? Like, they are just done a madness on these cards. Like... They have made players that have never played in the NBA some of the best cards in this game, which is just unbelievable. He's got 14 golds as well. Stats-wise, uh, it is quite similar, to be fair. He's got a little bit more driving, plus three driving dunk and plus two driving layup. Post-game, I mean, it's all there, isn't it? Like, everything's 90s. Ball control a little bit better, passing a little bit better. Defensively, incredible. Rebounding, incredible. Speed, incredible. Plus six to the lateral quickness is nice. I do vibe with that big time. Uh, and then obviously mental stats are ridiculous. So James Wiseman, for his release, I do want to bring him in. He can't shoot the corner threes, of course, uh, because Bosch can't do that either. He's always steps his foot on the line. But this card is going to be ridiculous. Really excited to go ahead and pick him up. As you guys are watching this, you probably know what price he's settled at. But the first one, 500k, ain't no way he's saying at 500k. He'll come down 150 to 200k, maybe. So I'm definitely looking forward to going ahead and picking him up. Next up, we've got Cole Anthony. And again... Very similar comparison that I did to Gil uh, Derek Rose in the first one. We'll go with uh, Gilbert Arenas for this one. So 6 foot 3, 44 Hall of Fame badges and 16 gold. So 60 badges in total. And again, he's got pretty much everything that you could hope to see for in a point guard. Um, but it's his height that lets him down. 6 foot 3. And comparing him to Gilbert Arenas right here, there's no real reason to buy this Cole Anthony card. Like, on a quick little flick through like there, there's not too much different. Rebounding, give or take either way. Speed and athleticism is basically exactly the same. Defensively, pretty much similar. Steal and primitive to go for Gilbert Arenas. Interior D block go to Cole Anthony. Passing all goes to Gilbert Arenas. Like, it's not a good card, guys. It will be a buyout. If it isn't a buyout right now, which I would be surprised if it isn't, it will be in the not-too-distant future. Next up, we have got Onyeka. And uh, they've changed his position. Which doesn't make any sense. So his pink diamond one is a centre small forward. But his galaxy open one is a power forward small forward. Which is actually better for him. Uh, and my boy is looking like an absolute tank in his picture right there. Uh, he's six foot nine, So Spicy P is a very good comparison for him. 50 Hall of Fame badges and 16 gold. But the thing about this guy. He has got Paul Pierce's release. Which isn't the best release in the game. Let's not get it twisted. And again he also has that thing that Chris Bosch has. Where he can't shoot the corner threes. He's got gold range in the Hall of Fame, but that's not the biggest deal in the world. Stats-wise, 88 mid, a 6 3 Not the highest. Again, definitely could be boosted a little bit. But driving-wise, 97 driving layup and 98 driving dunk. That's insane. Good passing ball control. Defensively, bruh. He is on par with my AD. He's on par with my Larry Bird. Uh, this card is a joke defensively. Rebounding 94 as well, and then uh, all the speed stuff. Absolutely incredible. So he's going to be really cheap. Release lets him down probably a little bit, and uh, shooting isn't the best. But this card is going to be it's going to be mad, guys. It's going to be mad. We'll leave Lamelo for now. We will then move on to Anthony Edwards, and he comes in 250k right now. But again, he will come down in price in the not too distant future, in my opinion. So six foot five, 53 Hall of Fame badges and 10 gold, and he has got base 38, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm right in saying that. Uh, he's got base 38, which is obviously very, very powerful. So who can we compare him to right here? Who is ridiculously good? Glenn Rice is pretty damn good. Uh, so Anthony Edwards, 98 driving layup, 98 driving dunk. Great shooting, great passing, great defense, great rebounding, and great speed. Like, on paper, he's better than Glenn Rice. Anthony Edwards is going to be nasty. And also, I don't think he's going to be too expensive. I really don't think he is going to be too expensive. So he's probably going to be a cop in the not-too-distant future. This boy right here, I am so excited to try out. Let me tell you guys. Uh, do we have anyone we can compare him to? I don't think we do, to be fair. Uh, okay, we'll just stick with the first comparison, which is Dennis Johnson. So six foot six, but he has got Tracy McGrady's release. So he is basically glitched Tracy McGrady, but two inches shorter. He's six foot six at the point guard position, which is still pretty good. You know, it's definitely usable this year. This year. Uh, 97 driving layup, 97 driving dunk, 95 mid, 89.3, so that definitely does need boosting just a little bit for this point in the game. Great passing, great defense, good rebounding, and 99 speed. RJ Hampton, again, and not a card that's going to be too expensive, I don't think. 
So uh, my shopping list so far is James Wiseman, Anthony Edwards, and RJ, just for the fun of trying those three guys. And uh, then this boy right here, Lamelo Ball, 3 million MT. Point guard, shooting guard, 6 foot 8. And I've just remembered I might have got the release wrong on Anthony Edwards. I think Anthony Edwards has Dwayne Wade's release, which is base 98. And Lamelo Ball is the one with base 38, which is the one from Park, which is really damn good. So yeah, Lamelo Ball with base 38. He also has got... Yeah, no wait, Magic's behind the back. Magic Johnson's behind the back on this card. Who can we compare him to? Magic may be a little bit of a harsh comparison. But he's got Magic's uh, behind the back, which is obviously ridiculously good. Uh, look at these stats. Like, 98 driving layup, 95 dunk, 98 mid, 96 three, 98 passing, incredible defense, great rebounding and great speed. And then he's got the, uh, what does he have? Long athlete hop steps or like that package, I think. He's got like Giannis hop steps basically, which is damn powerful. He's got a good crossover as well. Lamelo Ball is straight in as a top three point guard in the game. Not exaggerating. So that card is going to be ridiculous. Is Zion worth it himself? No. Even though he is uh, glitched with his position, small forward point guard, not worth it. Not worth it at all. Don't lock this in, guys. How much is it going to cost? I don't know. Like two to two and a half mil once Lamelo settles a little bit. But god damn, that is insane. So it brings me on to what do I want to do? Do I want Magic if I could have Lamelo Ball with a much better release than Magic? I kind of want to get him gone, and Michael Jordan as well, like, oh, wow, ooh, ooh, four in three minutes, you guys done messed up, you guys done messed up, why would you do that, damn, there's been five in the last half an hour, jeez, okay, I want to I wanna get him gone, guys, I want to get him gone, I don't care if there's a completion reward for this, I don't care anymore, we've waited for so long, and we might be waiting for something that's never going to come, and I just want to try these new cards out. With my 400k MT, we should be able to forward RJ Wiseman um, and Anthony Edwards as well. Maybe maybe two out of the three of them. Uh, but obviously, we can't afford Lamelo, And I do want to afford that Lamelo card. So, yeah. Magic Johnson and uh, Michael Jordan. It's been fun, but over the weekend, chances are, you're going to be gone. So, guys, let me know down below which card are you most excited about from this set. RJ Hampton with the uh, Tracy McGrady released. Lamelo with a base 38 and uh, Magic's behind the back. James Wiseman with Chris Bosch's release and 7 foot 1. Just mad. Anthony Edwards with the Dwayne Wade release. Like, oh, they've done these cards so good. But that is going to do it, guys, for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.